the viewers, welcome back. And if you're new here, hello, I'd love you to join us. A few videos ago, um, I did something around Marks and Spencer staples. And in that video, I shared with you a jacket, a boucle jacket, um, that I absolutely adore. And I popped it on the other day because it was a lovely sunny day. And it suddenly occurred to me that I don't think I've really shown it to you with lots of outfits. I've had featured it in quite a few videos, but just as a styling piece. And I think it's such a great jacket that I wanted to do a video surrounding the jacket and pairing that with a number of outfits, probably about eight or nine. So let's get started and I'll show you the jacket I'm talking about. Before I do though, um, you might have noticed I'm wearing a microphone. Um, I'm hoping that this improves the sound quality for you. So do let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the jacket I'm talking about. It's an absolutely um, incredible jacket really for Marks and Spencers. I think it was 59 pounds, by the way, everything will be linked below. Um, so, you know, you can just click on everything from there. This is a beautiful dark navy. It's a boucle fabric. I'll just come a bit closer. So I've picked it up in a size eight. It also comes in an ecru, which I've also shown to you. But this is the navy version. What I love about it is it's straight boxy fit. It's edged in a nice frayed uh, finish um, that goes right round the neck and down the front of the jacket. It fastens with a hook and eye, if that's something you want to do. Personally, I don't when I'm wearing it. When I've got it on the hanger and I'm storing it, yes, I do fasten it to keep its shape. Comes down very straight sleeves. You've got three button detail here that same fringed, uh, fringed edging to the jacket as well. It's exceptionally plain and boxy. You've just got some dark details here, lined in navy as well. And um, it's just a very great jacket, which is why I want to show it to you with a number of outfits so you can see the investment that you get um, from, from this one piece and the wearability so let me get started with the first thing. Everything you'll have seen on this rail, by the way, uh, with the exception of a couple of pieces, and this is one of them, are things I already own and you've seen before, but obviously styled in a different way. Um, the new pieces I will highlight. Now this, I didn't buy specifically um, with the jacket, but for a while now, I've been looking at this trend for this midi length denim skirt. So very plain, almost like a pencil skirt um, with a slit at the front here. Um, and I was dashing through Marks and Spencer the other day um, and they have cottoned onto this trend. So all of a sudden I thought, right, okay. <laughs> Marks have cottoned onto it, then obviously it could be a little bit more long lasting um, than perhaps I envisaged. This one I picked up is a washed denim. So it's responsibly sourced cotton with stretch. I've picked this up in a size eight. This was 29.50. Now for what I've seen price wise, this is an exceptional price and possibly half the price of most denim skirts that I've seen. Um, exceptionally plain. So it's styled as though it was, it's a uh, jeans. So you've got a zip front here, button fastening, pockets, what's not to love about that. Slit at the front here, patch pockets and exceptionally plain. This looks so nice on, um, but again, I'm undecided. So I'll be grateful for your opinion to let me know what you think. Um, yeah, is it something you see as long lasting? As I say, I've sort of hung back on the trend because I didn't know if it might just be something that came and went. I think Marks are now doing this as well. I think possibly might suggest something a little bit more longevity. And as you know from watching my videos, I like things to last a while. I don't just want to have them for one season. So I'll try this on and come back to you. 
Okay, here's the denim midi skirt. What do you think? Um, I'm a bit undecided, but I'll be grateful for your views. I think the colour, this washed uh, blue, is a really lovely colour. Um, I picked it up in a size 8. Um, it was the only one they had. Possibly could size down perhaps in this. Um, but I don't want things too tight, so a bit of a call really. Um, I'll show you the back, what it looks like. I think it's a great price point. I think it's, you can see where it fits on me. By the way, I'm five foot four and a half. So you can see where this actually finishes on me as a midi stroke maxi perhaps. Um, but it's not, I think for me as well, the slit is just done discreetly. So it's not something that's going to be too revealing. So you can sit down comfortably, if that makes sense, so that um, you're not uh, going to reveal any anything that you don't want to. Um, but yeah, the denim is really nice. Um, and as I say, for £29.50, I think this is a great buy. It's about half the price of others that I've seen, mostly in the £70 bracket. And it does come in a darker wash, but this was literally the only one. And when I had a look online, I think it must just be coming through because one of the, um, the sizes were mostly out of stock. So I think it's a new, a new item and I think they have, I think they have supply issues, but um, I think they're just coming through. It does come in a darker wash as well. This is quite nice for summer. Um, I just kept it on with the things I had on, the loafers I had on. So yeah, let me know. I, I really appreciate what you think. Is it a keeper or not? Let me know. Use, use appreciation. Okay, this is the next outfit I want to share with you. The trousers you'll have seen in the last H&M haul. Um, these are a size 8, size Europe 36. Very plain pair of I think they call them cigarette pants um, and this is what I'm going to pair with it and this is something new in also from H&M. Um, I think you know that I like a blue striped shirt but this is a tiny bit different in that I love this ruffle collar. I've picked it up in a small and um, I think this was around I think it was £22.99 something like that um, it's got nice little pearl, white pearl buttons, comes very plain down at the sleeve. And then the cuff detail, they've played with the, f the fabric here. They've turned it round in that horizontal way. It's adding that little bit of definition and a bit of added style. You've then got the same frill um, that's around the collar into the sleeve area. But look how they have designed and just made that cuff that little bit different so they've shaped it so you get that little added bit of femininity to what could be quite a plain old shirt around the back this is just very plain darted it's quite a nice straight um shirt so that's the next outfit um to see with um the jacket what I won't do here is I won't try them on individually because I say you have seen this with the exception of a couple of pieces. Um, so what I'll do at the end is I'll do a mashup of all of the different outfits. So that's the next outfit that I wanted to share with you. The next one also has something a little bit newer. This is also new in from Marks and Friends. So by the way, this shirt also comes in plain white, which is equally nice. Um, this is a knitted tank. This is incredible value. This is from Marks and Spencer. I've picked it up in a small. This was only £15. This also comes in black, but look at how the effect of how they knit has been designed. So it comes down, as I've said to you before, in that trompe l'oeil effect. So deceiving the eye, so it's very slimming of how it comes across the body. The back, it's very plain, but they've played with the, how they, the level of the knit. 
so that the knit here goes in a tighter knit and then broader in the, the central panel here. Just that bit of attention to detail. And I'm pairing it with these lovely wide leg navy trousers that I've shared with you in a few videos ago. Um, and one of my lovely viewers was looking for inspiration for some smart trousers. And honestly, these are such a great buy. I think these were £39. They come with a self belt, self tie belt here, which is very slimming. They're lovely and wide. I've picked them up in an eight short. Um, side pockets here, very plain, just uh, fashion detailing here, pockets on the back, just a press pleat at the front. These are a great pair of smart trousers, not that expensive. And also, I think these are a pair of trousers that you could have in your wardrobe for years. I was looking for a pair of smart navy. Pretty much like when I, like when I first showed you these trousers, um, and I was on the hunt for a, an ecru pair last year. Couldn't find any. And then in January this year, I found these in Marks & Spencer. Equally, um, I was looking for something that well, wasn't too wide, but just had that nice level of width to them that made them a little bit different. So that's the next outfit. And after that is just something exceptionally plain. Um, I've got same pair of trousers as the um, ecru pair here, except in a beige. Again, these are at a size eight. And I've just going to pair this with a very plain um, beige t-shirt. Um, I think the navy and camel, I think goes really well together. Um, and this is a really lovely t-shirt. This I picked up from H&M in a size medium. Sadly, this has disappeared offline now, um, but I'll link something quite similar below. So very plain, um, but all monotone with the addition there to break it up for the warmth um, with the navy. So that's the next outfit. Something a bit different again. Now, if you see my videos, you'll know I like navy and black. Um, it's the same pair of trousers, uh, except in black. And all I'm going to do is pair this with a, with a really wide, um, long sleeve um, t-shirt. This is from H&M. This is an extra small. I bought this last year, but they do these staples every year. I think I've mentioned before, I love how they edge this with the cream. I think this is very flattering across the neck. Um, and I love navy and black together. So that's the next outfit. And that's, I think, a bit of the point as well, what I want to share with you, how I think navy just goes with so many different colors. Um, it complements a wide range, which is what I wanted to do, share it with you um, in this video. The next thing I want to do is just pair a pair of grey jeans. These are ones I've had from Gap for quite a few years, so they're not new. Um, and these are uh, skinny and they are a 26. These are just plain, very button, plain button through. Um, I have seen a great pair in Marks and Spencers actually that I will link below um, that I've had my eye on. Um, but I've obviously got a pair of grey gray jeans, so it's not essential to, to buy them, but I will link them for you below. And all I'm going to do is pair that with a very plain um, grey t-shirt. This is one I picked up from Gap and this is an extra small, um, but this is just something quite plain. But hopefully, as you'll see, how the jacket just elevates the jeans and the t-shirt. The next pairing is a white shirt, very similar to the uh, one here. This is one I picked up a while ago. Um, very, I say very plain, it's not really, is it? Um, these are my much loved um, Eva jeans with a tiny bit of a kick flare at the bottom. 
you see my video um, a couple of videos ago, you'll see how I crop these even shorter because the first pair I bought in darker colour, um, I picked up and they are, let me just check and make sure, these are an eight short. And while they were an eight short, sometimes the sizing, even when you buy things in the same size, are different. Um, and these were a tiny bit longer. Um, so I got them cut off and I got them cut off quite a bit shorter so they are quite cropped. What I'm going to do is just pair that with just a quite a pretty blouse. This is Jock's, it's got ruffle detail, very much like the one here. Um, darting and pleats down the front, some pleating at the back here. So just something that will elevate jeans. So next outfit, and this is the final outfit. And this is the Harper jeans in this very midnight blue color. These are absolutely adorable. By the way, I think you'll have seen I've got a bit of a love affair with um, Marks and Spencer's jeans. I think the quality is excellent and they've got an excellent price point. I think I picked these up for £23. Um, absolutely adore them. They're just a very straight leg. Um, I picked them up in a eight regular because the short on these were very short. And sometimes I think you just have to buy possibly either tr take a few things in if you can, uh, or if not, a bit of trial and error in terms of playing around with, with the sizes. You'll know from my videos that when I've spoken about Marks and Spencer's trouser lengths, they did change them last year. So they are more inclusive. They expanded the leg length. Um, so what was a regular was a 29 measured to the floor. Um, that is now a small. So they've gone from extra short through to extra long. So they've really widened um, the leg length range up. So if you're a bit shorter, they cater for that as well. And if you need something a bit in the longer leg, they do that as well. So this is the final outfit. And I'm just gonna pair this with this silk um, shirt from Lily Silk. This is an extra short, um, extra small, I should say. This is just the button detail. I think I was showing you before when I, when I hang this around. It just keeps the button with the shirt on the hanger. A little bit, uh, keeps, it keeps it simple for me. So this is a very, just a very plain boxy shirt, lovely pointed collar, lovely wide sleeve area here, beautifully finished and how it's finished on the cuff as well. Um, so yeah, that's the final outfit. So what I want to do next is I'll go into the mashup um, and hopefully you will see just how wearable this gorgeous jacket is. Um, for me, why I wanted to come back and show you how wearable it is with all these things is because it's worth the investment. It's such a lovely jacket um, and, and it's a great price point. It's something that is possibly slightly a bit more expensive but there are jackets of this quality that are much more expensive than this. And looking after it, um, this will hopefully last me for years. So everything will be linked below. If there's nothing, some, if there's nothing specific there, so for example, there's, there's all in my existing wardrobe. Um, these are trousers I picked up earlier on the year. I'll link these below. I picked this cardigan up from Marks and Spencers a couple of years ago, but I'll try and find something similar as well. And the tank you've seen before, this is just one from H&M. Um, so let's go into the mashup. I hope it's enjoyable. I hope this microphone has made a difference as well. Um, I hope it's given some clarity and taken away some noise as well for you. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Cheerio. Bye.